this song to be about what I want it to be about. And I was like, what am I passionate about? I'm passionate about anti-bullying. And mm. so I was like, let's write a song that's about bullying and about coming back from the haters. And we were like, like a boomerang, like come back like a boomerang. It's great. It's like, great. And, it, and, and, and by the way, boomerang has, uh, looking at it right now, 614 million views. It's crazy. On Incredible. 614 million views. Add that to the bows from last year and you've got like yo, a billion units yo, moving. Just, hey, 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 she's FYI, like a, 614 million views, I'm just going to say it, equates to roughly 750,000 to a million dollars, my guess. You don't have to say. <laughs> no, I'm, no, no, no. I'm just saying like, I know for a fact, Jojo. Yes. You're making money. Bank. Because by the way, <laughs> really quick, from a, from a brand perspective- like the 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 demo she's talking to right now is like the the brand gold mine. Mm -hmm. Like everybody's like, how do we reach this lifetime value customer that's starting in their teens and we can continue right. to grow with? That's how it's Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa, like, Joe Joe like, dude. I want this next generation to be like the most epic humans alive, and same. I want them to be awesome, absolutely and same. strong and powerful, and change the world. Rocking and I'm like, mad bows. How can I do that by just doing what I love to do, which okay. is All that? Right. So so in in uh, in your song Dream. Can you can you do some of the lyrics because I, I want you guys to listen to these lyrics because it's all like motivational, inspirational. Like uh, what's the, what's the, what's the chorus? You can do it if you see it. If you see it, you, you can, can be it. it. You believe it. You achieve it. You just see our yeah, yeah. If you live it, love a it, breathe it, and you really really a need it, you a believe it. You a achieve it. You just D R E A M. Hey. <laughs> Wow. Like I, I hear that and I just want to go out and like do chant and change. Dance exactly. around. Yeah, no, it's real, so fun. Real quick. Is there a story? Or is there something in your life personally that motivated you to go after bullying? Yes. Very, very much so. Oh, are you going to play this? I'll tell you oh after God. he plays yeah, please. this. Please. Wow. This is, this is Jojo. And, just and her here I am. <laughs> uh, Choreographed dances. Oh my gosh, Jojo, do you, do you write these yourself? I do, it's me and then there's other writers and other producers, but I am the sole writer on all my songs, obviously. <laughs> all right. um, but what you were saying about the bullying is when I was in third grade, I actually went to school. I've been homeschooled my whole life, but in third grade, I went to school for the last semester or last quarter. Um, but basically while I was there, the first day that I got there, I'm not allowed to say the girl's real name, but the first day I got there, these kids came up to me and go, that's Lucy, we don't like her, don't talk to her. By the way, Lucy's not her real name. She has a different name, but in my book and yeah. when I tell the story I use Lucy so they go that's Lucy we don't like her don't talk to her and Lucy was special needs you know she was different from everyone and so I was seven I didn't know what was going on I didn't know what bullying was so then basically at the end of the school year no matter how good like however good you did in math depended on how much ice cream you could get at the end of the year so basically like you built up an ice cream Amazing. sundae it sounds like a school I want to go yeah, to yes it's heck, great dude? and then at the end of the year you have a giant ice cream party Sunday bash situation. And this little girl, Lucy, she basically, like, she didn't get anything right. So she had a bowl of whipped cream. Oh. And now, like, everyone had, like, ice cream and cherries and bananas and sprinkles and Oreos and uh, more ice, like, all the things you could imagine. And she's just sitting in the corner. No one ever talked to her. I didn't talk to her. I'm guilty of it, too. Uh, but she's sitting in the corner. She's crying. And she, like, I can't even begin to tell you. So I literally looked over there and I was like, this is not okay. Everyone over here is pigging out on their ice cream. I was like, this is not ever happening in my book. So I went up, I got, I'm really advanced in school, so I could have like unlimited stuff, whatever I wanted. So I got up, I literally went to the buffet, put every ice cream thing that there was there, made the biggest bowl. And I took it over to her and I was like, I just want to sit by you. Here's the ice cream. You enjoy it. Like, and I just sat by her and I will never forget. Like she looked up and was like, somebody's talking to me Amazing. almost like oh, wow. literally that changed my life. And that's why like that really inspires me like every day to do what I do.